breaking news. Part of I-75 still shut down at this hour because of a fiery crash tonight. Yeah, a big rig struck a median, then burst into flames. Tonight, the truck driver is fighting for his life. News Channel 8's Chip Wasowski joining us live along the normally busy interstate in Pasco County. But, Chip, it is still a traffic nightmare out there tonight. Well, in one direction, Keith, actually southbound lanes of I-75 between 54 and 52 are back open. Northbound lanes remain closed. As you know, normally traffic investigators have, have to piece together what caused a wreck like this and talk to witnesses. This one was a little more caught and dry. Cut and dry. It was caught on camera. If you slow the video down, you can make out what happened a little more clearly. The tractor trailer hits a guardrail. The fuel tank bursts into flames, then a sequence of explosions. The smoke cloud was probably three stories in the air, and it was 30, 40 feet wide, just flames and then black smoke. Devin Whitaker hit record on his cell phone seconds before impact. And so at that point, we stopped. We're 20 foot away from where he hit, and I got out the truck and ran up to try to get the guy out of the truck, but I didn't even think he was alive at that moment. Whitaker tells me he pulled out his smartphone when the trucker started weaving. So I was like, I'm gonna record this, because it was insane. I was like, he's going off the road two times, and then left lane, right lane, off the road. Like, I was like, no way, he's gonna hit somebody. From Eagle 8 HD, you can see what's left of the truck, singed metal, the outline of a tractor trailer that appeared to be hauling airport ramp vehicles. Traffic in both directions was snarled for hours. Whitaker and his crew were headed to another job and after a long day are headed home. Thankful there was only one injury in this fiery crash. One little mistake in any of these vehicles can cause a major accident. I mean, I'm big on that. You know, driving is very important because it's not your just your life. It's everybody else out on this road, man. And the Florida Highway Patrol tells us the truck driver was last listed in critical condition and is recovering at a local hospital. As far as why he was swerving back and forth in the first place, well, that remains a part of this active investigation. Well, there's a lot of construction out there. It's been going back and forth for a while now. Let's, uh, let's hope he recovers. Chip Wasowski, live in Pasco County. Thank you.